Hey, Chris Orlob um, posted a great uh, post on the science of openers on cold calls. And uh, the worst one is actually the one that's been, been taught. <laughs> and and maybe it's just been worn out. And I, I never liked it. it. It was like, is this a bad, did I catch it a bad time? And, you know, it, and it really kind of fits into Chris Foss's uh, people like to say no to, so they can have control. But the problem is it's like, uh, if it was a <laughs> if it was a bad time, they wouldn't have picked up the phone. This is the logic, and I even got into it with uh, somebody on LinkedIn because they didn't like my false time constraint, and they said, "Well, that's a lie." And it's like when people <laughs> lie. All communication is communication. You're not lying. You're busy. I'm busy. Everyone's busy. You know, do you think I was sitting here going, you know, this is a great time for a cold call? No. What the point of my false time constraint where you say, hey, I'm just about to head out, but I had a quick question. Boom. And that answers the second part. What's the reason for your call? I have a quick question. That's the reason. You don't have to say, this is my reason for calling. You just tell them your reason for calling. Don't it, it, the, the economics of words is critical because you're interrupting them. And I got to tell you, on the list of things people want to receive is a cold call is next to um, you know terrible news about their family. It is it is that bad. People do not want to hear it. And I, then I saw comments that say like, "Oh, I want to. I, I called you to give you a pitch." And you're like, okay, so there's some curiosity, some uniqueness, or brace yourself. This is a sales call. Um, why is it a sales call? Why is it not, you know, unless you're selling, you know, a pure commodity product, you know, printer cartridges or cable TV or a consumer product, then then it works. I get that. I, I totally understand. And if something works for you, don't go changing it. Don't go changing just to try and please me. You know, and then the number two, so number one was, did I catch it a, a bad time? That's the absolute worst, the least effective. Number two is, how are you? Oh, it, it, that how are you has turned into a cliche. It's like, good morning. It's like, how you doing? No, how you doing? You ever get in that little a ping pong match with people. Hey, how's things? People keep changing it because no one knows what to say. You have to know what to say. What is the point of your call? Uh, you you have to introduce yourself. You know, hey, hey, this is Brian. Uh, I just got a minute. I'm about to head out. Hey, I had a quick question about this, that, or the other thing. Um, and they go, well, they're going to either answer you, you know, do, do you use this? Are you the right person? Do you, are you in charge of this? Do you work in this department? Do you use this? Do you do this? Have you ever thought of that? What's your opinion of this? Get them talking. That's the point of the cold call. Well, what are you closing for? At best, you're closing for another call. Maybe unless you're selling a commodity product, you know, if you're selling, uh, you know, refills to their printer cartridges or something or support renewal, that's really not, not even a cold call. I'm talking about a pure cold. They don't know you. You're, they're not a customer. Uh, they don't know what you do. And then that you want to get them talking. And his best one that they've, they showed from science was how you been? You know, which shows empathy. It gets them engaged, uh, gets them talking, and then then you want to follow up with a, a question about what they say. Ah, oh, it's been a crazy day. Yeah, Mondays are like that, aren't they? You know, it's, it's finally spring. Talk about the weather. Get them talking about something, and then then always use reverse psychology because people love to correct you, right? Because when you say I don't have time. You're, you're letting them off the hook. They know it's not going to be a long time. They know that you respect their time. That's the point. It's not a lie. You don't have time. If you have time to call, make cold calls, why aren't you doing it on Saturday and Sunday? Why aren't you doing it at 6 in the morning? <laughs> why? Because it's the most painful thing in the world. And, you know, and, and it is 
sometimes the only effective way of doing it. And it's, it's certainly the most direct way to get no. If you want to get no fast, cold calling is the, is the fastest way. Now, in certain industries, I get it. Mom and pop, people who don't have email, people who aren't online, uh, people that uh, don't respond to email, people who uh, don't log in <laughs> to the computers you're selling to, uh, old school, older people. I get it. You know, th- th- there is a market for cold calling. So if you don't like my false time constraint, ask them how they're doing. Get into their lives. That's been scientifically proven to be the the most effective. Um, people weren't very creative in the comments, and there was a lot of spammers about, you know, uh, my approach is the best, and it's some eighty year old guy who probably hasn't made a cold call, you know, since the nineties when it worked really well. Uh, it, it's a tough space. There is no silver bullet. You have to play with it. And the more playful you are with it, the more successful you are going to be with it. The idea is to get them talking, not to sell them. Why? Because once you start selling them, they get they shut down, they get defensive, they get combative, and they want to get off the phone immediately. Um, you know, there's... And don't be gimmicky, but... Be playful. I think the people who are most creative in this space, uh, who try and get some fun out of it, who just like just understand that it is painful for both people on both sides, have the most fun with it and the most success with it. But uh, be, be playful with it and don't ask them how they're doing and don't ask them if this is a good time. <laughs> It's just, you know, because that probably came out in the books before uh, there was caller ID, right? Because, and then, you know, don't tell them the reason for your call. Just say the reason for your call. Don't be adding another gate. The reason for my call is I hear you who are very successful. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, the reason for my call. You're just adding verbiage, okay? You, it, use the economy of words, the least a number of words possible because you've got to understand you're catching them off balance, that you're catching them while they're doing something else. Somebody else might be in their office. People have, some people just like pick up the phone. I have a friend. He picks up the phone no matter who calls. And I'm like, I just shake my head. And then he gets into an argument. You know, my mother does it. She'll pick up the, as the phone rings, she'll pick it up. And then she'll yell at the telemarketer. I go, you know, it's a telemarketer. Why are you picking up the phone? You know, it's just this knee-jerk reaction that some people have. And you it, and you got to understand that's what you, you're getting yourself into. So be playful with it. Um, if you don't like the false time constraint, use Chris's scientifically proven one about uh, asking them how, how they've been and and see what works and play with it and don't expect anything to work every time or anything to really be ground changing. Uh, you know what doesn't work? Play with what could work. I hope that's been helpful. Keep the questions coming. Also, hey, check out. Any of you want to get into B2B sales? If you're in B2C and you're doing this all the time, May 1st, I'm dropping a new course called SDR Masters Academy. SDR is a sales development rep, business development rep. This is the entry-level role in B2B sales. And what you can do is starting salaries are in the $40,000 range compared to uh, B2C or or retail where they're in the 20s and 30s and maybe target incomes are in 40s. They're 40 k base salaries with an 80k on target earnings and anybody who takes this course and applies it will blow it away because I'm teaching you stuff that works that people that are you know 10 15 years are are now using it and they're crushing it because it's scientifically proven to work about dealing with human beings so check it out May 1st If you're interested in learning more about it, send me an email. Thanks for listening.